Hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode of Witchwood. If you enjoy the series, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. Oh, I still have the puppet. I didn't realize that. I wonder if... I probably will need the puppet for other, other things. Where is the piggy? Piggy, 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 piggy. Sweet. Oh. I like that the cat is doing it. Clinging to Raggedy Shaw, the old panhandler holds a tin cup with trembling hands. Hands for the poor. Sure. You bow your head respectfully. Age fellow who dropped a coin into his cup. From under his ratty hood, the man gleams a civil tooth grin at you. Thank you, kind miss. A penny for your thoughts, old timer. I'm afraid my thoughts are a little muddy as of late. Can't seem to recall what day it is. Or when the last time I ate was. Last I remember, I was working at the old hog farm with the other unfortunates. Not quite sure how I ended up back here on the streets. I've had more than a few memories abandoned me as well. Say, I must have left a few of my things behind at the farm. This place my boot and... Well, I can't remember what else. I don't suppose you do me the kindness of taking a look around the place for me. I'm not as surprised I used to be. At the hog farm, you say? I guess it wouldn't hurt to take a peek. Maybe they have a lost and found. Bless your heart, I do remember they all need permission to go through the gates. Those hog sisters were in a tight ship. I have to go talk to the big hog who runs at the butcher shop here in the market. She'll set you up with a work slip. A work slip? Butcher shop? I don't even remember <coughs> seeing a butcher shop. It's so bizarre. It's like things were here the entire time, but I can never remember if they actually were. Like, was this always here? I mean, I know what I want to do now. Excuse me. Oh, this is the... It's rat meat. It's all rat meat. Big, big. Chopping through a hock of meat with a gigantic cleaver, the surely looking swine merely grunts at you when you approach. Excuse me, I heard that you were the one to talk to about getting a work slip. Is that what you heard? Well, you heard wrong. I got enough good for nothing workers. Now buzz off! The glance of the hollow fly, halo flies buzzing around the pig's scalp. Listen, there must be some way to get a slip. Well, I am running low on ingredients to make the summer sausage, and none of these nine poops can hold two thoughts in their heads. Tell you what, you get me the things I need, and I'll give you your precious work slip. Roast beast! Ah. It's a good thing I cooked all those eggs, huh? Your fishy cat still flops around, gasping for air, but the hog puts a stop to that with her hefty cleaver. The music stopped. It's so sad. Push the basket of eggs towards the hog. She holds each one up to a candle flame and oinks an appropriate satisfaction. I don't remember where you get sausage from. Oh, roast beast. Can I? Oh, you make it. You make it. Uh, can you make some more witch spice? To make a the roast beast. It's like the music stops when I go here. <coughs> Excuse me. You plop the sweet smelling hawk down to a relatively clean section of countertop. The pig grunts in acknowledgement. 
Hands up the mucket and go northeast and give this to my sister at the gate. This man of hot dung not try to guide you to this spot. I can hardly contain myself. Well, go contain yourself at the hog farm for I lose my temper. She slaps her work slip down on the table. Thank Bye. It's heading north, right? That's it. That's it. A cow. Yeah, okay, I just gotta like talk to him. Oh my god, it's the three little pigs. Go over there. The wound gets into our heart farm without a works in it. And if you want to work for us, you gotta fit the demographic. And what demographic is that? The calling that don't ask so many stupid questions. Now you got a work slip or not? You hand over a slip of paper and the hog squints at it with our piggy little eyes. <laughs> now, you don't look like you can lift a wheelbarrow, let alone last a good day's work. You got to be skin and bows. Yeah, I've got the work slip, don't I? So let me in. Fine, fine. It's no big enough my back to find yourself face down the mud after your old heart gives out. Look at all them piggies. So, the pigs raise pigs. Rich topsoil. Hmm. Do you give me anything new? Just clay. Okay. That's a big piggy. Gassy pig! That's definitely gonna be something that I need. This is my last bit of digestive tablets. Six swine eagerly gobbles up the antacid you offer it. You hear a bubbling sound coming from the pig's stomach and decide it's best to avert your eyes before the horrors of the natural process. When you look back, the pig has fallen asleep in the mud, looking much happier with its state of being. You turn your attention to the aftermath and gawk at the obvious cause of the beast's indigestion. A bone! Oh, a questionable bone. So I'm guessing that's something I had to do at some point. I mean, I had... Even if it was like an item, obviously it was something I had to do. <clears throat> like an, an ingredient. This gaggle of workers appears to be squabbling over something. Hand it over, I saw it first. Fat chance, you already got those good legs, what? Well, I still got barefoot, give it here. You see the object of the con contention, a dirty old boot. Ah, that must be my friend's forgotten piece of footwear. The workers ignore you and continue fighting over the pathetic prize. Growth potion and elf shoes. Oh, I gotta make, I gotta make shoes. <coughs> Don't have elf shoes. Do I have any more shiny? How many do I need? Do I just need one? <laughs> I'll make it all just like this. And the growth potion. Sneeze this, which I don't have any more dragonfly wings. No! And uh, this over here. Which I can't make. I just. Uh, I need... Is it dragonfly? Dragonfly things? Right. Which means I need to... Okay, I have some of these already, but I'm just gonna make two more. Collect elf shoes, search the pig farm. Oh, I can move them! <laughs> I can move them around, that's fun. Mm. 
small pea. This slop trough is overflowing with filth, like something is clogging the drainage hole. A thorough cleaning should slodge the obstacle. Uh, where's... Auto despair? No, it wasn't the same. So this up here. Which I can't make. Luckily, I have enough water. You flush out the disgusting container, eventually getting to the root of the drainage problem. A tooth! Hmm, that's odd. I don't any of the pigs around here have had much dental work done. Wait, so was the bone one of his belongings? That's all. Okay, so I gotta go to this one. I... No, there's definitely gonna be more that I have to do here. Come back, little one. There we go. Oh, I need three of shoes, so I actually do need one more. Is there any more elves in here? Can't be. Yeah, there's one over by the the blacksmith. Oh yeah, the golden goose. I need that thing too. How do I just talk to the goose? Oh no, it needs a glitter bomb. It's actually telling me that now. Oh, that means I need two. Uh, can I make two? I can. I can. I did not expect it to be able to hit me from here, but it did. It glittered! Stupid goose. Alright, so... There's only two here, so I'm gonna go to the village again. And, uh... Pick up another F shoe. Pay no, pay me no mind. <laughs> pay me no mind. I'm just a a humble little old lady. And now we go to the swamp. Get some dragonfly wings. To the swamp. I honestly think I could just like play some. Just you know, just wait. I'll put down another one just in case. I do like that you get two from it. Uh, so it was... No. Yeah. 
what did what did I what did I need? What was I making? It was magic paste. What was I making magic paste for? Something about shoes. Ah, the the growth. Growth thing. Luckily. After this, I probably have to go to the mountain for something here, too. Because, uh. This feels like. This was like, uh, kind of like the rest of them. It was like I had to do one thing in order to uh, kind of progress to the like, next thing that I needed to do. And the next thing I needed to do ended up with me having to go get items at the mountains. Put down the minuscule slippers. This won't be big enough for anybody. The workers ignore you and continue fighting over the pathetic prize. You pop the cork on the growth potion. We sprinkle a cup of carefully measured drops of the growth potion onto the tiny shoes and make a sound like popcorn and bust into a size much more accommodating to human feet. The big green lookers, workers look over at the source of the noise and their eyes go wide. Hey look, are those new shoes? Dropping the old boot in the mud, they rush over to try on the new footwear. Check it out, they got jangly bells on the toes. You sort through the collection of objects you've accrued, a silver tooth, a human bone, and a chewed boot. I'm not sure what happened in this horrible place, but I've got a suspicion that old beggar may have lost more than just his memories here. I better go see him. He'll be missing his boot, at the very least. <laughs> Is he dead? Oh no, he like lost- he probably just lost a limb. I was like, is he dead? Is he a ghost? But he's hes probably just, you know, lost a leg. And that's why there's a boot here. And he also lost a tooth somehow. Nah, you turn. Did you have any look fun in my uh, What was it I lost again? You placed the collected remains in front of the man. Do any of these look familiar to you? Oh, that's my favorite boot. I was wondering where that got off to, but what are these? The man runs his finger over the boat and so a tooth with creeping realization. Crossing his face, the skin begins to take on an ephemeral pallor. Oh, he is a ghost! Oh. He was a ghost. Um, in my day, it would certainly appear that way. Don't feel too bad. These sorts of things have a way of sneaking up on us. But, but I... I remember now, I was up at the hog farm, and I was too old, too weak to work. The sisters, they said I was useless, they threw me in the feed trough. And then, all those hungry pigs, oh no no, how could they do this to me? All my life, I was starving, I had to beg for table scraps, and then they fed me to the pigs! And I'm very sorry, things ended this way. You have to hold a feast to honor your life properly. A feast? I've never had a feast. But will we get the food? And who will come? Everyone I know is slaving away for those terrible sounds. You cast a glance at the nearby communal cooking pit. I think I have a solution to both of those problems. Don't you worry. I'll make sure you have a meal to remember. Cooking pit? This? Where the f- where did- Where did this come from? Was this her the entire time? In this bit has seen his fair share of community cookouts. Though it isn't in the best shape, it will be enough for what you have in mind. Now then, what should be on the menu? You clap your hands together hungrily. I think pork would be most appropriate. 
First, I have to fashion the proper container. The feast need not be flesh and blood if the spirit is hungry. Porcelain effigy. So I need dough, worker work, and a haunted man. Ah, oh, another haunted mannequin. This means I need one of these. I can make one of these. Luckily, I got enough stuff to make this. Uh, and the dough. No, I'm not a milk! I haven't had to make dough in so long. Luckily, it's a, I guess I can't go that way. There's a cow right here. Can I make more jars? I can make one. Oh, that's right. I, I didn't make uh, the do. Uh, I gotta make four of these. Oh, I can't actually make enough. No, I don't have enough. So, I have to go, I mean, to the forest would do it. Is this actually how much? Nah, the forest has the most sticks, I'm pretty sure. I'm running out of materials. The wicker work is like used so much that I never figured that sticks would be like what I get stuck on the most, but really it seems like it is. Just never is enough sticks. You would think that the wood would give you more sticks, but it doesn't. I'll go down here because I need clay as well. For more parts because uh, those have become a tad bit. Uh, what's the word? Low. A tad bit low. Do they? Yeah, they take the little, the 
the little dolls, which honestly I never really made a bunch of. Uh, and I can't make any more because I don't have any more. Uh... Ow. I didn't make any more. Um... Uh, not, not that I didn't make any more. I don't have any more. Um... Nose needles. Nose needles. You know, those things. Nose needles. Proboscis. That's the rock she was standing on. I was like, what is that? Oh, I'm sitting on. Not standing. This game kind of makes me wonder if it is more of a traditional depiction of like fae creatures and stuff like that. Because there's so many like depictions of like, of, like um, goblins and stuff, but I wonder if this is like a a little bit more true to to folklore of what goblins actually look like and uh, dryers as well. Like the the kind of look that you see dryers picture as now is like just like green women. And these would be like tree ants nowadays. So I'm just wondering like if this is like a tad bit more of a what folklore would have you know, depicted. I don't know. I could easily find out. But will I? Probably not. so many of those because they always need a whole bunch. I kind of want to go ahead and get some more of this too because I will probably need more sewing kits in the future. Uh, and to do that I need smoke pellets. Um, can I make smoke pellets? can using up some of my clay but I can make them it is using up some of my clay hey buzzy buzzy Is it really just these these two? You only get one from each and that kinda sucks, but there's something with him and I really wish I knew what it was. I just feel like I'll need some Eye of Newt. Like, I doubt it, but maybe. 
Now I do remember needing stick totems for something. Yep, so I do need like a good bit of this. Because I needed totemic moon drop for something. I don't remember what, but I needed it for something. Luckily it was like clay around here too, so. I think you actually get more clay and like more items than what you actually see. Get back here, frogs. Time. I don't know if there's actually like a limit, or like like a time limit. I feel like that might be. but I have no idea. Okay, how many... Uh, how many throw I Wait, I already made this. Did I already do that? I think I already did this, and I was like, oh, I needed it, and I've already done it, I think. Yeah, I think I've already done that, so that was kind of just a waste of, well, maybe not a waste of resources. I probably need it in the future, but I didn't need it right now. Let's just kind of hope it is. Because I'll, I'll probably need to go to the mountain anyway, so... Probably, probably enough, right? Probably not, but I can hope. Wait, did I go to the wrong one? I went to the wrong one. I do like the little puddles right there. Mm 
Ashes of the cooking pit. It wiggles and squeals with impotent hunger. Now to fatten up this little piggy. I'll start with the smallest pig sister, but I need to collect something special to bind her spirit. The small pig switch. Oh, okay, so I'm, I'm actually going to go and like collect things from each of them. Awesome. Alright, that's going to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you all next time.